Oh, hey, it's about time you showed up. Come on in, let's check out the new crib. Welcome to my classroom for the year. We got a lot of exciting stuff for you, and I'm gonna start showing that to you now. Come on in. First up, we have the preamble to the Constitution. Relevant to all of your classes, I also incorporated some pretty sweet protest posters to show that it's not perfect, because it's not. Nothing in the world is perfect, and yet we all continue to survive and thrive in it. Now let's check out my desk. This is my work area for the year. I know that your work areas are all gonna be in your own homes, so I wanted to show you what I'm working with here. Like my tapestry? I just made it. That's right. Check out my pictures, binders, super exciting, and other stuff will be hung up on the wall when my classroom is no longer under construction. Let's keep moving. When you're working, do you ever get tired? Me too. So I brought in a change of space area. Nice futon, keep the world map above me, and some affirmations for myself so I can make sure to live my best life even while school's closed. Kitchen has not changed. Student station for eventually when everybody is back to school. And we will have everything they need already here. Student work from last year. Check out all these sweet collages about the Great Depression. Great job, 11th grade. And as always, cabinets. Never leaving. Built in. Not super exciting, but yay storage. Now, with that, it's time for us to talk about a few tips and tricks to help you survive the year. The way that I set up my space is something I recommend to you. One, make sure you have a designated work area. That will help you know that as soon as you sit down in that chair, like I do at my desk, it is time to get stuff done. Two, take breaks when you need to. We're all only human. If you're really overwhelmed and you have a little bit of extra time during an asynchronous class period or at the end of a synchronous class period and you need to walk away from your computer, that's okay. I'll say it again for all the people in the back. It's okay to walk away from your computer during an appropriate time. It helps all of our mental health and I promise your teachers are doing the same thing at school. You saw my futon area? I put that in here so that I could have a little escape where I could still work, but change up the scenery a little bit. That way, I don't get overwhelmed with my space and can have different places where I can go. That's all I got for now, but I'm sure that I'll see you all soon. Can't wait to start the year with you. 